head coach Steve Nugent. Talk about the 2013 recruiting class. Yeah, this uh, this year's class is a great mix of, uh, of athleticism and soccer and unbelievable uh, academic reputations. Um, it's a it's the total package too, and addresses of course a lot of the needs that we had as a program uh, coming into 2013. It's um, it's our second recruiting class, and uh, not as large as 2012. Uh, but certainly, certainly fills the needs that we had as a program. Um, I think the one underlying theme about this particular group of young ladies uh, is that they really have embraced our philosophy of team and family and trust um, more uh, more than ever. And uh, we've got a great group of girls that I think are are going to be uh, very impactful um, with our team on and off the field. And uh, we're very excited that they've chosen UNCG. You know, starting with uh, Alex Moisenko, she, she was our first commitment. Uh, Alex comes to us from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Obviously, the great pedigree of, of soccer that gets played, uh, you know, in that area of the of the country. Uh, she grew up with, in a fantastic club with uh, unbelievable mentors, and um, I feel uh, I feel strongly that. Uh, that she's gonna she's gonna be able to make an impact at the collegiate level. She's the youngest player we're gonna have in this class, uh, but one of the most athletic. She's got great size, great speed, uh, a great ability to find the ball in uh, set piece situations, um, and uh, she's somebody that will give us a tremendous depth on the uh, on the back line as well. Um, next we have uh, we have Kim Shaver. Kim Shaver was actually. Alex was the first commitment. Kim Shaver was the last verbal commitment that we received uh, from uh, for 2013. And Kim comes to us from Virginia, and um, she is uh, she's about as blue collar as it comes when it comes when it comes to the sort of the work ethic, uh, you know, for for a soccer player. We're excited about Kim because Kim has a tremendous uh, not only pace and physicality and size, athleticism, uh, but Kim is a no-nonsense individual who is going to be, who will emerge as a leader in that freshman class, uh, as well as on our team, and we expect big things from her uh, on the field. She's a center back. She's got all the attributes of a of, of a successful center back, starting with the soccer part of uh, of what she does, her technical ability, uh, her vision of the field, um, and then she has tremendous communication skills. She knows exactly what she needs her team to do uh, to be successful in front of her. So we're excited about Kim too as well. Uh, next would be Mackenzie Noel, and Mackenzie comes to us uh, from Maryland, uh, play, having, having played for Brad Ruse, uh, who's one of the most accomplished youth coaches uh, over the last 20 years. He's developed some of the, the finest talent uh, that's gone on to play in college. So we get excited about that because one of the things that we look for when we're out there looking at players is what kind of environment are they being trained in and conditioned in every day and since we know Brad's expectations are very high the athletes that he works with you know we get excited about someone like Mackenzie coming to our program because they're ready uh, we know that they're ready and she has a, a great ability to play in the midfield she plays that holding spot really really well uh, she's a great link player with the system that we want to play the style that we want to play we need that player to be a good soccer player and not just a ball winner. She is both of those things, which we're excited about. She's got great size, five foot ten, you know, central player uh, that uh, will give us great depth in the midfield too, as well. And somebody, as I've mentioned before, that really has embraced this idea that you know, you know the team comes first, and she is an incredibly easy player to coach, uh, and will integrate quickly within our team. Uh, next would be uh, Marissa Contreras, and Marissa, like uh, like Mackenzie, comes from a club program in Houston, Texas. Uh, the challenge that has developed some of the best talent uh, over the last 20 to 25 years, you know, coming into college, and um, she played for Pat O'Toole, who's one of the best in the business and what he does, and uh, she's again a defender and somebody that. Uh, we love in the wider area in the back because she loves to go forward. She loves to attack. Uh, and being a possession team that we are and being 
the, the style of play that we want to play, she's somebody that will definitely uh, give us um, you know, some great depth in the wider areas in the back. Uh, she loves to go forward, uh, loves to play uh, you know, in, in and around the other, the other team's penalty box, which I get excited about. And uh, she's got great service uh, with both feet. So somebody that we're excited about uh, about being here. Uh, Christina Murr. Christina Murr uh, comes to us from uh, Ohio Elite, uh, out of Ohio, and uh, Tim and Doug uh, and all their staff up there at Ohio Elite have emerged as one of the the best clubs in the country over the last several years, and uh, we're excited about her coming here. The great things about Christina uh, for us, and again talking about the way we want to we want to play soccer um, Christina has all the tricks uh, but don't underestimate her physicality don't underestimate her passion to to win at the same time she's not just a tricky player um, she's just as apt to get stuck in in the midfield which we're excited about but she can also she also has the touch and the vision to play a ball in behind a defense that uh, that will spring you know players on the front line, um, put them into goal scoring situations. Uh, Christina is a team player and somebody who will absolutely work very, very hard um, to make herself better and at the same time she's committed to making everybody around her better too as well. Uh, so Christina will give us great depth in the midfield but also is a player that can play on the front line too because at the end of the day, she loves to score goals. And uh, we're excited about that too as well. Nicole Epstein. Nicole Epstein comes to us uh, out of New York. Um, played for a fantastic uh, club program with uh, Mike Demacus. Um, Mike has done a great job uh, developing some of the finest talent too as well. Uh, she was a starter and impactful player on one of the best ECNL teams over the last few years. And uh, she has tremendous versatility. She can play in the middle in the back. She can play wide in the back. Uh, and that's a true testament to her, her soccer ability. Um, her, her soccer acumen, her brain, if you will, is something that we're excited about. Uh, she never puts herself in a, in a difficult situation. Uh, she's always in the right, the right place at the right time. And um, you want that with your back four. But at the same time, she's willing to take res risks when she's playing in the wider areas. She's willing to go forward. She's willing to get involved in the attack. Uh, so we are very, very excited about uh, Nicole and, uh, and what she brings. And certainly the experience that she has picked up playing on the team she's been on against the competition, uh, I, think is, uh, I think is really, really going to benefit uh, UNCG. Alex Pryor. Alex Pryor is the, if you could pick a player that I love, she's that player. Uh, I love to watch Alex Pryor play. She is very tricky. She has tr unbelievable imagination as a midfielder. Um, she is somebody that's going to benefit greatly from a collegiate environment uh, where she's going, we're going to be able to train the entire player, uh, physically, mentally. Uh, technically, and um, I'm very excited about Alex and the soccer that she brings uh, because it's hard not to watch her play and then want to model some of the things that she does as a player. So she'll make, she'll not only get better, but she's going to make people around her better too as well. Uh, very, very good in the midfield um, and uh, somebody that uh, I think can make an immediate impact at this level. And uh, like a lot of the players, it's just, you know, how good does she want to get at the end of the day? So uh, we're excited about Alex coming here. Gina Cardenas. Gina comes to us uh, from South Carolina, playing for CESA. Uh, and again, a club that has developed a lot of very quality players over the years. And Gina is a great individual. Uh, she's somebody that I'm really excited about because she brings not only great soccer but she brings the best attitude every day she's incredibly coachable um, she's going to give us tremendous presence in the midfield she's a very athletic 
uh, individual. And you know, the first time I ever saw Gina play, one of the things that I noticed right away was she wasn't flashy, she didn't wow you, but she was never out of position. She was always in the right spot at the right time, and never really put herself in trouble. She uh, makes safe passes, um, plays that holding midfield role very, very well, and uh, will add a tremendous uh, depth, you know, in the midfield for us. Uh, and we look forward to an awesome four years for Gina here. Uh, you know, the other thing I would say about Gina that I'm, I'm excited about too is that presence in the air. You know, we play against some teams that you know, are very physical. Um, that, and uh, they like to play an aerial game, and you, you have to have players that are committed to, to, to those type of challenges uh, in the game of soccer. Kayla Mountjoy. Kayla Mountjoy comes to us in Dallas, Texas, and you know, if you're looking at our roster and you're looking at this particular group of players, she's somebody that uh, has tremendous experience uh, at the national championship level. I mean, she played for two different programs coming out of Dallas in the Sting and the Dallas Texans both very, very story programs. And uh, she won a couple national titles with, uh, with the Dallas Sting, uh, being an impactful player on their front line. She loves to score goals. She is a tenacious attacking player. Uh, she will chase, run, kick, fight everywhere, and then loves to score goals too at the same time. And what I love about Caitlin is what I've seen develop in her over the last year and a half, which is um, she's increased her range in her game. She's uh, she's durable. Um, she has uh, she has the ability to play in the midfield as well as on the front line. Um, I like that versatility in players. I like to be able to move them around based on the team's needs. Um, and she's a she's a soccer player. And uh, I think you know, like a lot of the players that we're talking about, uh, she's somebody that that loves UNCG. She loves Greensboro. She can't wait to be here. And that's uh, that's a big part of the the, the process in, in, in getting your getting your athletes on campus is we want to make sure that they love you know where they're going to be and she's somebody that we're excited about. She brings a lot to the table. She's a great team player uh, and somebody who will make people around her better for sure. Kelsey Peters. Kelsey's a local girl, and uh, when they created an athlete. They probably start. They probably said, "Okay, we're gonna we're gonna look at Kelsey and we're gonna start with her because she's about as athletic a player as uh, as I've ever coached." And um, she's young. She's got a lot of development to go forward. Uh, she's gonna come to college and she's going to uh, she's gonna she's gonna have to work really really hard. But she is an athlete, and um, on top of that, she's a pretty good soccer player too as well. And she's she's a great outside back. Incredibly physical. Uh, her timing on her tackling is impeccable. Um, she can get up and down the flank, uh, and somebody who I think is going to bring a tremendous range of passing too as well. She she can play possession, uh, but if we have to play long, or if she needs to play long, she has the technical ability and the physical ability to do that. Um, I'm super excited about uh, about Alex. I'm, I'm sorry about Kelsey coming here. I got confused there because Kelsey and Alex are good buddies from North Carolina from the ODP team. But Kelsey has tremendous experience too, playing on a really good club team, playing on the ODP team here in North Carolina. And anytime we can get a good North Carolina kid to, to come to UNCG, it's, a, it's an absolute home run as far as I'm concerned. So we're really excited about Kelsey being here. Uh, Alexis Thomas. Alexis Thomas comes to us from, uh, from Athens, Georgia and played for the GSA program for Campbell Chapman and without a doubt I think the most improved player over the last year and a half uh, since we uh, since we you know have been started recruiting in the 2013s she has put tremendous time into her game she was identified in the fall by the ECNL as one of the top players uh, in the U18 age group uh, she has a knack for scoring goals. She's currently second, uh, the second leading scorer in the entire U18 uh, age group across the country. Uh, she just loves to put the ball in the back of the net and has created different ways to do that now. So one thing in her game that I was really hoping she would develop under Campbell 
Uh, she's not just a runner. She's actually found ways to score goals. And coming to college, when you're that athletic and that fast, one of the things you realize right away is that everybody's fast and everybody's athletic. Well, now she has some things in her game that are going to allow her to be successful uh, 1v1 with players. Uh, and uh, she's found some different ways to score from her. Uh, you know, her range has increased too as well. She's not just scoring goals inside the box. She scored some goals from distance, um, and she scored some goals off set pieces too as well. So we're excited about Alexis coming to us. And then, uh, and then lastly would be Rebecca Burrow. So Rebecca comes to us from uh, from New Zealand um, with tremendous international experience, uh, having just played in the U20 World Cup, started all three games uh, as a center back. She's truly a central midfielder. But uh, kind of at the last minute, her coaches uh, converted her to a center back for the, uh, for the New Zealand U20s uh, going into the World Cup. She had a tremendous showing there. She's every team that, that, that Rebecca has played for over the last several years has been a championship team. And that's what I'm excited about the most with Bex is that she has a champion's mentality. She's a winner. She knows how to win. Um, she's mature, she's got that international experience which lends it to her maturity too as well. But at the same time she's lighthearted. she wants to have fun, she knows how to work hard and, uh, and, and have fun at the same time. She's got tremendous balance. She's going to be a, an asset to our team without question right away.